Well, I've made it to Dubai for my first G650 recurrent training. Uh, it's unfortunate to say, but I really do not feel well this morning. I'm not sure if it's something I ate on the plane over or something I ate last night, but I've been throwing up. I've thrown up twice this morning and I've got to leave here in an hour to go to ground school for eight hours today. So we'll see how this experience goes. This is my first recurrent training. I'm here in beautiful Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and roll clip. So recurrent, the whole plan of action, I originally wanted to get a bunch of video content and show you guys or kind of document my whole recurrent process of what I did for four days on my first Gulfstream G650 recurrent. But unfortunately, I got really sick the first day as you just saw in that clip and it really kind of made me struggle the whole time I was there and I ended up getting through it thankfully. Uh, the first two days were ground and then the last two days were flight simulator sessions. So through the ground, even though I felt terrible, I still got through it and was able to somewhat focus and keep my mind occupied and grind and then by the time the flight simulator sessions came around I was able to get through those because I felt better but uh, I really just needed to focus on the training and not focus on documenting anything or trying to video anything or, or that came as a secondary priority but now almost a month later after I did my first G650 recurrent I want to talk to you guys about exactly how it went down what the process was and what I did, it was a four day program, my first recurrent. It was two days of ground in classroom learning and two days of a flight simulator sessions. So the first two days we did eight hours the first day, eight hours the second day in the mornings in Dubai and covered a various number of systems from general aircraft updates and aircraft uh, knowledge as far as software upgrades, things going on in the world of the airplane and into engines, the APU, fire protection, pneumatics. The second day we did hydraulics, landing gear, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and some other systems. So eight hours each day of ground, which uh, ultimately led into a written exam of 25 questions. Um, and it was just me and one other person in the class. So uh, that was really nice. I'm not sure if other schools or other trainings um, are very, very small or there are a large number of people in different recurrent classes. Um, where I went, I went to CAE Emirates in Dubai. It was very small and I enjoyed that. It was me uh, doing an FAA recurrent and one other person doing an EASA recurrent. So we had a little bit different written test, but knocked that out, did well on that and then led me into the final two days where we had simulator sessions. So because I was FAA and the other guy was Yasa and I was doing the training on my own and not with somebody from company, I was paired with a simulator partner provided by the training department. So I was paired with somebody and we worked together and he supported me through my flight simulator training. The first day uh, we did V1 cuts, uh, different emergencies and engine fire uh, starter air valve failed to open along with along with some other things I can't really get into too much I guess I don't want to like reveal their their full training program but we did a lot of emergencies the first day was kind of a wake up uh, got me in check because it's been a while since I've seen some of these things obviously in the simulator uh, since my initial last year and then the second day uh, we did more and more emergencies, some different scenarios, hot weather operations, high altitude stuff, going over some different scenarios, and it ended up being pretty good. It was a four-day progressive check, and that's kind of what a recurrent looks like, as well as an oral on the third day before my first simulator ride. So four days, two days of ground, a written exam, an oral, and then two simulator sessions for a progressive check ride for the four day program. So that was my recurrent at CAE Dubai. Just making this video to kind of give you guys an understanding of what recurrent is. Um, I had never understood really what went down in recurrent until going to one. And it's really not that difficult. It's pretty straightforward. Um, they're just checking to make sure you're still good in the airplane and you <laughs> are on top of your stuff. So that's what happened in recurrent. And yeah guys, uh, let me know what kind of content you wanna see. I'm trying to 
uh, brainstorm more content and put some stuff out. Once I get home off my work rotation, I want to do some actual flying stuff, put some cameras in like a Cessna 172 and go fly with friends and do some instruction and stuff and film that for you guys. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Thanks.